Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today on my channel. My name is Trina Sandress, if you don't ever already know. In all the other videos I've made, I never introduce myself, but my name is Trina Sandress. Today I want to talk to you about um, dream interpretation. The first uh, dream I did, dream video I did, was on precognitive dreams, but this one is on dream interpretation. <clears throat> okay, so basically what I wanted to say is whenever you have a dream and you write it down, what I like to do is after I write down the details of the dream, I like to look the dream over again and look for things that stand out for me, symbol-wise. You can buy a dream dictionary if you want it. Go to Barnes & Noble and purchase one or whatever bookstore. And they basically have, like, A through Z, all the different symbols that can show up in your dreams, like teeth. And I read that teeth means uh, wisdom, you're taking on new challenges, um, what else that appears in dreams that has universal meaning. Well, I'm kind of running a blank right now, but you guys know you dream all the time. And it doesn't have to be in a dream dictionary for you to dream it and understand it. Some symbols will not turn up in books, so you got to tune into your in own intuitive knowledge, meaning when you write down your dream, the whole thing, look it over again and look for symbols that mean something to you you know, and then see if you can relate to it some way in your waking world. Then within that, once you learn how to interpret your own dreams based on the things that you visually see every day in your waking world, you may start to see how <clears throat> helpful these dreams are. You know, what kind of insights, you know, either it's your subconscious trying to tell you if you believe in spirit guides, and there might sh they might show up and send you symbols, just to let you know you're on the right track, you know, with your life and your life's path and why you're here. So, basically, I I would suggest don't rely on dream dictionaries because uh, one person can have a dream about a ring; it can mean they're getting married. Another person have a dream about a ring; it could mean that they're getting separated, I don't know, but I mean, rings, symbols, all kinds of shit, it can mean anything to each person, because each person on their walk of life is experiencing different things, and each object symbolizes different things to them, so, um, I hope this helps a lot, because when you go to write, sometimes when people go to write down their dreams, they'll just or even me, I use myself as an example, I'll write down the dream and then just kind of like whatever and then forget about it. And then I look it over, it could even be a month later, I look it over and I go, wow, I know exactly what this means. So yeah, if you haven't purchased a dream journal, don't worry about that. If you don't have a dream journal, you can easily make it, fold up some printer paper and staple together and just have something to write your dreams down that's together in one place so you can get to it every time. So, um, there's like long extended dreams too and I have a lot of those. Most of my dreams are like that. You don't have to write down every single detail because a lot of the times it's hard to convey exactly what's going on. A lot of times dreams are very abstract and it's hard to put into words. So whatever you can't put into words, don't worry about it. Just put down the basic stuff. And then after you write down the dream, you can go, well, how does that dream make me feel? Write down what, well, how it made you feel. And then uh, you could also get really introspective about it if it really profound, profoundly affected you. You could like think about the key things in there that kept showing up, recurring up in there. Because usually when uh, 
certain subject matters, certain symbols or whatever keeps repeating itself over and over within your dream, it's because it's trying to wake you up and show you what you need to pay attention to in your waking world. When you open your eyes up and that dream is in your mind, write it down. You write it down, then look at it, see how it makes you feel. Does it make you feel anxious? Does it make you feel angry? Does it make you feel sad? Whatever emotion, write it down. Now, <clears throat> I haven't been keeping a journal consistently, like every single night but I try the best that I can. I write a, a dream in my journal at least probably five times a week. I don't catch all seven days. So um, don't be hard on yourself about that. Just do the best you can. And the more that you do it, the more that becomes natural. You're, you just want to do that. So I hope that helps you guys in any way. If you need any more questions answered about dreams or you have a specific topic relating to dreams that you'd like for me to uh, talk about in a video, just let me know. Um, yeah, just uh, next week I think what I really want to do is videos specifically geared towards lucid dreaming. So, alright, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and please always share with any media that's out there, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, whatever. And I'll see you next time for the next video on lucid dreaming. Peace.